Um, when it comes to real estate, I've been in real estate for 22 years, and a lot of times conversations are geared towards first time home buyers, down payment assistance, and things such as that, so that we can get you into a property. And we really just want to also have another conversation for homeowners that are out here that need to find out what are the tax breaks, what are the options, and what is this solar thing we keep hearing about and going green. So, um, of course, as a value add, I want to make sure that this kind of information is given to you. Now, this conversation is twofold. It can go towards homeowners. If you are in the sound of my voice and you have a property or you have a rental property, I want to make sure that you have your notepad listening to the benefits of how solar really is taken over. And if you're a real estate agent, I really want you to take place and see, and as an investor as well, take a, take a look and see what can we do to really start reaching out to more homeowners so that they can see the benefits of um, going solar with solar panels. So I've known this gentleman for 20 years. He's going to give us a, a great presentation um, about solar. And for 20 years, been in the real estate market, and I've been in for 22 years. So, you know, we're, we're, we're just a little bit young. He's a former REMAX broker and past president of one of our real estate associations in Maryland. And what he's going to do today, he is now currently the regional regional market leader of the platform that we're going to talk about today called Power. So I wanted to make sure that everyone had notes, everyone could see the benefits, and you can really start to uh, really see there's going to be some amazing things that's going to be done by the end of this conversation. So I wanted to introduce Derek Smith. Are you there, sir? Man, I'm here loud and clear. Can you hear me okay, Lori? Yes, sir. I can hear you loud and clear. Let's go. Well, look, first of all, man, I appreciate you giving me the opportunity just to share some words uh, with your audience, man. You are awesome. You are amazing. And as you may mention, it's been 20 years. Yes. And uh, I remember some years ago and uh, I was in the real estate space and I needed a loan officer to service some of my clients. And back then, uh, I forgot you were working with Wells Fargo, SunTrust Bank, one of them banks, and you was doing some amazing things uh, as it relates to making sure our homeowners were in the right financing program to be able to secure uh, a home. And then over the last 20 years, we've just built a great a working relationship. I appreciate you. I admire your hustle uh, and your grind to the 100 power. And I know your commitment to making sure uh, that our homeowners are well educated on all the resources available to them, whether that's homeownership programs, whether that's opportunity for them to save some money. And uh, and so it, when we talk about the world is evolving and changing, I mean, it's, it's happening you know, right in front of us. And we got to operate from a posture of uh, foresight and not hindsight. And, and so when we talk about the evolution of, you know, hotels going Airbnb, when we talk about the evolution of rental cars going away from traditional rental programs to Turo, and we talk about real estate transitioning to EXP models and, and all of those things, electric cars and, and gas car, hybrid cars, uh, doing away with gas automobiles and the world is changing. And so, you know, as you take a look at what's going on around us and specifically with our homeowner community, I know many folks are starting to see a lot of people have homeowners or have solar panels on their home, but not fully understanding what that means. And so, you know, not too long ago, I got approached by Power to help them uh, open up a couple markets across the country by a good friend of mine who you guys are here from uh, here shortly. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, big, I'm a big advocate on financial literacy and education. And so when we talk about solar panels and what it can do to really minimize that electric bill expense or get rid of it at all, uh, it's really, really a big deal. And so I'm not going to hold you guys too long tonight. Uh, I just want to spend a few minutes with my partner uh, kind of going through some of the benefits of solar so you guys can fully understand what this whole phenomena is around us today. And uh if you see fit, maybe an opportunity for you to possibly lock in and uh, become a client of power and share the gospel of solar savings, uh, we'll love to have you. So I'll kind of uh, get through our presentation slide here. Let me click through some of this here. You know, so why solar? Why now? I, I mean, most importantly, you know, when we talk about the opportunity and the fact that you can save some money on your electric bill, it's a big deal. And I'll just be transparent and, and take myself personally. You know, I I have my solar panels to be installed in the next week or so, courtesy of power. Uh, but my electric bill prior to you know, having solar panels here soon was about a 367 every month. It fluctuates from 327 to 367. Um, I don't have a lot of trees surrounding uh, my roofing area around my house. And, 
And so when I got involved in power, I mean, it only made sense for me to transition my electricity bill to solar panels, to transition my gas automobile uh, to electric vehicle. And, and then you really start to really do the math and calculate the cost. And because I, I, I'm at a place now at 47 years old, you know, at some point, obviously, I'll be able to own my home in the next couple of years. I said, by the time I'm 50, I don't have a mortgage anymore. The goal is to not have no car note, which that'll be done away with, not have no gas bill as it relates to filling up my gas tank. But more importantly, how can I get rid of this electric bill? I mean, you're paying $350 a month. You multiply that by 12 months, that's 3,500 bucks a year. You multiply that by 10 years, that's 35 grand. And so from day one, I wanted to recognize the cost savings opportunity. And then there's a lot of tax incentives and things that we'll talk about. Um, but in addition to the savings, you know, portion of that, when we talk about climate change and being able to help, you know, uh, what's going on around us to be able to minimize pollution and renewable resources is a thing that we really, really got to pay attention to. And more importantly, if you really start to pay attention to what's going on around the country, uh, all across the country in Los Angeles, California, California as a whole, uh, in Florida, in Texas, around the region, they're starting to mandate a lot of our homeowner communities, especially if you're building new construction, uh, that solar has to be part uh, of that whole design and anatomy and the structure of that property because it's really, really important. And that's where we're going. So this evening, we're just going to talk a little bit about your options. Uh, you can either stick with your current utility situation where the rates can be you know, unpredictable and it adds no value to your home. Uh, or you can explore the option of going solar, zero out of pocket, long-term savings, have some control and predictability, and also, you know, how it can add some value to your home. And this is where I'm going to bring in, you know, my partner, a good friend of mine, Jabari Sadler, who's in Atlanta, been doing some amazing things around the country, uh, just really just transitioning the game of electric versus solar and doing some amazing things. And I'm just going to kind of let him kind of chime in a little bit and kind of go through how to understand your current electric bill, what you're paying, what you should be paying, how you should be reading it uh, and interpreting it. And I'm going to turn it over to my man, Jabari Salah out of ATL. Are you out there? I'm right here. Can you hear me loud and clear? Man, I can hear you loud and clear, man. Look, I know it was impromptu for you to hop on, man, but I appreciate you you hopping on, man. Just wanted to provide some level of education for our residents around the country uh, on the benefits of going solar, man. And what better person you coming from an engineering background and, and saw this way before it happened. And uh, just to kind of shed some light on this phenomenon, where we going with the whole solar piece? Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much, Derek Smith. It's a pleasure for me to be here. Hopefully, y'all can hear me loud and clear. Um, yes, y'all. I mean, it's it's no secret. Energy rates are up thirty percent this year. It's called a hyperinflation year. Not only gas prices at the gas pumps, but the electric bills to keep your lights on at home uh, function the same way. And so a, a trick that a lot of the utility bill companies use is they tend to layer in the inflation into other charges. So, you you know, most of us don't even read the bill. I got a stack of bills right here. Right. Most of us don't read it. We just kind of pay by the due date. Maybe some of us pay on auto pay and we don't really understand the bill and we don't understand the cost. It looks like a foreign language. So. If you take the total amount of the bill, in this case, $343.52, and you divide it by the number of kilowatts used, you can hit next on the slides, please. That's going to show you your actual price per kilowatt hour. Why is that important? Because, stay right there, because since 2003, utility bill prices, go back one for me, utility bill prices have doubled. Um Second, my fault, bro. Jabari, is that doubling? Is that nationwide or is that Maryland? This is nationwide. Um, this is nationwide. If we could get that map up again, oh, I that would be great. Okay. Going through the whole thing. But yeah, this is this is nationwide. This is happening everywhere. The northeast from Maryland up is the worst impacted. You know, Eversource in Connecticut and Massachusetts, man, I'm seeing 35 cent per kilowatt hour rates. I mean, it's totally awful what people are paying for electricity. And if you think back 
to your gas prices, right? Just like going to the gas station today in 2022. Think about when you were in high school or the last year that you that you were in high school, a senior, how much were you paying for gas, right? Do the math. You're up 400% um, from what you paid back in high school. And the utility bills are the same way. So Derek, if we could get slide five up. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, if you could do full screen on that. So these rates have increased um, over 100%. And it's going to continue to go up and continue to go up. And that's the way inflation works. And so a good way to get out of that rat race of having to deal with the inflation and the wars that we're in and uh, the recessions that are going on, a good way to get out of that liability of what you're having to pay over and over and over. Think about it. That's a, that's like leasing energy for the rest of your life. You never pay off that debt. We don't do that in real estate, right? Why are we? Why would we lease a home for the rest of our lives? We don't get any equity if we lease. The rent's always going to go up, right? And you have no control. And there's no tax incentives. There's no tax breaks. So if we understand that that level of thinking when it comes to where we live, we need to apply that to our energy the same way. Why lease your energy with no end date? You'll pay this bill for the rest of your life when you can move that money into a fixed asset where you pay a short amount of time, whatever your term is, five years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, just like a, a real estate loan. You can decide your terms with solar. Once you pay that off, next slide, you never ever have to pay for energy again. And you continue to get those tax breaks and you continue to get the increase in equity because it's increasing value to your home, right? Derek was just kind of going through some numbers, right? Three to 10,000 is what the average homeowner spends on utilities per year. So if you apply that money to a fixed asset, you never have to pay it again. You're spending the money no matter what. So how does solar work? Those panels are gonna capture that energy from the sun, convert it to useful energy through an inverter. You're gonna power everything in your home first. Your AC, your lights, your fridge, your TV, everything is gonna be powered from solar first. And then all of the overflow energy is gonna filter back through your meter, but this is a new meter. You've got a, a, a smart meter that's bi-directional now. The old meters were analog and they only, they only read in one direction. The new meters are bi-directional. So it's gonna read the energy imported to your home and it's gonna read the energy exported to your home. So you become your own utility company when you have solar. So now during the daytime, you are selling your energy back to the grid, back to Pepco, back to BGE, whoever it is that is currently your provider they are now going to be buying energy from you every single month. So the state of Maryland loves you. And that's why the state of Maryland is offering so much free money to homeowners to convert their home over to a smart home, to a green home. Next slide, please. Yes, Pico, if you're in Pennsylvania and probably parts of Eastern Shore, Maryland. So the federal uh, tax credit, this is the, the climate bill that was just passed two weeks ago by the, the, the current administration. It increased the federal tax credit from 26% up to 30%. So you're gonna get 30% of whatever the cost is of your solar system. Whatever the cost is for you to convert your house to a, a solar system, right? Meaning if you need a new roof, meaning if you're adding battery storage to your solar system, you're gonna get credits for all of that. And this new bill starting in 2023, there's actually an added rebate if you do get battery storage with your solar as well. Because again, you're, you're creating your own energy from the sun, clean, renewable energy from the sun. You're able to store that energy in a battery. That way, let's say, let's say you get a Tesla, right? Everybody's going to get electric vehicles pretty soon. It's going to be mandated. So what, what sense does it make to have solar panels powering your home and the grid during the daytime, and then you come home at night and you plug your car in to charge it in the garage, 
but it's nighttime, right? So where's that energy coming from at night? It's coming from the grid. That's not very green. So if you add a battery, you won't be charging your car from the grid, you'll be charging your car from your battery. So in other words, the clean energy that you stored from the daytime, you're gonna be able to use that energy at night to charge your vehicle, okay? And the government's gonna give you 30% of that cost, all right? Next slide. Is that for battery backup or for battery storage? Battery backup and battery storage are the same. They, okay. It serves two purposes. Okay, so backup storage and backup also, so it serves as a generator if when the power goes out. Okay, so now you have backup protection, but it also serves as storage to use at night so that you're not drawing power from the grid. Okay, so you get to ultimately be disconnected from the grid as much as you can by having storage paired with solar. That's the most off the grid you can be because now you're you're using your own energy at night. Okay. What happens if you sell your house? Great question, right? Just like Derek was saying, you add up those costs. If it's five to ten thousand per year to to pay utilities for your home, to turn the light on and off, to keep the AC on, to keep your home warm in the winter, if that's five to ten grand, then do the math. In five years, that's anywhere from 25 grand to 50 grand in savings. That that future homeowner or tenant, right? Because we do a lot of Airbnbs. We also do a lot of rental homes. Think about it. Tenants could have five, six kids and run the AC as much as they want. No electric bill. Think of the advantage that is if you have rental properties, you're telling them, run the AC as much as you want. Electricity is included in the rent. So not only will you be able to charge more rent, you'll be able to sell the house for more money. It's just math. I'm saving you from having to pay BGE or Pepco 25 to 50 grand over the next five years. So that price gets added on to the price of the home. So your home will sell faster and it will sell for more money. You're adding an asset to your home. Next slide. So why power? There's a lot of solar companies out here that will sell you a dream, right? And they'll even probably lease you a dream, okay? So pun intended right there, right? So there's a lot of companies that will put you into a deal that's not a good deal. So I'm gonna skip the video. I'm gonna show you the facts. We are the number one fastest growing solar platform in the United States. We've actually shattered this record of number 61. We're actually number 42 on the Inc. 5000 fastest growing private companies in America. We're going public soon, so we'll be publicly traded. This is a big deal. Um, all eyes are on us in the renewable energy platform. We are not a solar panel company but we sell a lot of solar. We're a renewable energy platform. So the difference is we don't work for a panel manufacturer. We don't partner with a, we're not a dealership for one particular brand. We, we give you the, the options. We give you the variety. We give you the best of the best panels with the longest warranties, the best of the best inverters with the longest warranties. Um, and we have an A-plus rating, accredited, um, and if you could go back, that would be great. Five stars on Yelp is a big deal when it comes to, oh, okay, you got to hit the back button there. You go yeah, forward. Go. Okay, so uh, as I was saying, we are A-plus rated with the BBB and accredited which is nothing small, that's a big deal, right? Look up construction companies, look up other solar companies and look at their ratings and you'll see there's a big big difference out there. Certified B Corp, what that means is we're a public benefit corporation. We are debt free. We are a big part of um, helping the Amazon rainforest. So we, we, just, we dedicate a lot of money, a lot of funds to helping the rainforest. So we're not your average company at all. Um, five stars on Yelp, 
means that our install times are the, the shortest in the nation. So most solar companies will, like I said, literally sell you or lease you a dream and then you won't hear from them later. It, you could be waiting six months, nine months, waiting for panels to install. We're, our average is 45 days for installs across the country. So it's a big, big deal to partner with the right company. Next slide. We're the only solar company that has a 30-year bumper-to-bumper warranty that includes 100% parts and labor, zero deductible. You can transfer the, the warranty to a new owner, um, and it, it, it's 100% parts and labor. So even the roof penetrations are a part of this warranty. Most solar companies would give you 10 years warranty and that's it, okay? So we're going above and beyond even what the panels are warranted for to give you ultimate peace of mind and protection for your investment. So um, Brian, then, let me ask you a question. What, what about ahead. the roof situation? I, someone asked me a question earlier that I think someone else might, might have the same question. What if my roof situation is not up to par because uh, it hasn't been replaced in years. What are the solutions? Do they put panels on top of, you know, a, a roof that needs to be replaced or needs got some shingles missing? How does that work? Or what's the option? No, definitely you? not. Definitely not. We want your roof to be in excellent shape. We want your roof to be uh, 30 years worth of life left in it because these panels are protected for 30 years. So if you don't have a roof, most roofs today, most new roofs that are put on come with a 50 year warranty. So your roof may be in good condition, but if it's in bad condition, you definitely want to address that before you get solar. And so we can re make recommendations for you. You may already have someone in mind. We also, in some areas, we can actually quote and package the roof replacement before we do the solar. It's all one bundled solution. So you're gonna get the 30% tax credit on everything, the roof included, and you're paying zero down on both the roof and the solar. That's a really, really big deal because roofs can be 10, 20, 30,000, and there's not a lot of financing available for roofs. Most roof roofing companies expect you to pay in full unless your insurance company is covering your roof. Let's say you had hail damage or a storm that damaged your roof then maybe your insurance company is covering your roof being replaced. If not, roofs are expensive, <clears throat> you know? But yes, we can package that as part of a solution um, if your area is in an area that we service with our roofing uh, department. So Debra, just a couple more questions. I'm kind of let, let it open for, for some Q&A, but I got a couple more because it's pretty, pretty uh, relevant, I believe. I get asked this all the time. A lot of people think that they have a separate solar panel bill and a separate electric bill. And so how does that work being all inclusive? Is it two separate bills? Am I paying bg and and Pepco and I'm paying power? How, how does that work? Yeah, no. So solar, the whole idea of solar is to eliminate your electric bill. No one's getting solar to have two bills. It's to replace your electric bill, right? Legally, we have to stay connected to the grid. And that's for two reasons. One is, if there was ever any problem with your system, obviously you would want to still have power to your house. So you'd, have, you'd want to have you know, the grid as a backup if, if something happened. But then the other reason is, like I said, your new meter is bi-directional. So in order for, you, for your panels to overproduce energy and give that energy back to BGE and Pepco, you have to be connected to BG, BGE and Pepco in order to give them back that energy and for them to pay you for that energy. So you're still connected to the grid. However, your bill with solar, your BGE bill would be zero. And in some cases, it will be negative. In other words, your bill would come and it's going to say, you owe us negative $22 this month. Next month, it could be negative $40, like in the summer, because you produce more energy in the summer. So your panels will produce more energy than what you need. So therefore, you're getting credits on each one of your bills, which rolls to the next month and to the next month and to the next month. So if you end up having negative bills for 12 months, at the end of the, that 12 months, BGE or Pepco, whoever your provider is, is going to cut you a check for whatever that annual amount over 
that you still have a credit for right around their fiscal year end. They're going to cut you a check because they can't keep rolling credits to a new fiscal year. Does that make sense? Got you. Mm -hmm. No, it makes perfect sense. And so on average, percentage wise, what are you seeing monthly as a cost savings for, for the homeowner as it relates to your local utility versus versus going solar, whether it's with yeah. power or just in America? Yeah, anywhere from 5% to 50% cheaper than what you're paying today. So if you're paying $300 a month today average, you might be around 150 for solar, mm. ideally. But again, that's based on the financing that you choose. Power gives you the power to choose over 250 lenders. Some of our customers just pay cash. They would rather not have a monthly payment they want to get that savings immediately, claim the federal tax credit of 30%, and they know that their out-of-pocket difference is very little when you spread that over five years or 10 years. You know, Some homeowners choose a five-year term on financing. They want to pay it off fast like a car, right? So those payments, right? I've tried to get people to not focus too much on monthly payments, right? Because let me make a, a, a metaphor. In this house, I would rather pay $3,000 a month towards a mortgage payment than $2,500 a month towards rent for the same exact house, right? I think everybody would agree with me. Meaning I'd rather my money, I'd rather spend more money and have it go towards a, a fixed asset where I know I'm getting tax breaks at the end of the year on all that interest I've paid. And I know I'm accruing um, equity in the home every single day that I'm living in it. If I'm renting the home, there's no equity. There's no tax breaks at the end of the year for renters, only if, if you own it, right? So same thing applies in solar. If I'm already spending 300 bucks a month to Pepco, why wouldn't I be willing to spend 400 to myself, to a fixed asset that will pay off faster, right? I could probably spend 450 a month and pay off the solar system in five years and be done. Right. Versus paying 100 a month for 25 years. I don't want to do that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's a big deal. I mean, at the end of the day, we all have to uh, count the costs and, and, and plan for our financial future. I mean, that's really what it's all about. I mean, you know, my uncle just bought an electric Jaguar uh, eight months ago. And uh, he, he said to me, because I... You know, I had a, a A7 Audi and he said, my car is just as nice as yours, but it costs you $80 to fill your gas tank up. You know, all Ooh. I do is charge mine up for four hours every single night and, and I don't I don't spend the same amount of money. And so, oh, you know, on the flip side, when we talk about Teslas and things like that. You you're might be paying a little bit more than, than the traditional vehicle, but when you really do the math and you offset that because you don't actually pay for gas, it's really a big deal. And so when you, I heard you mention financing, Jabari, uh, is there a minimum credit score requirement um, for folks to, to, to move forward with, with the solar panel situation? Absolutely. We can go down to 600, but technically 650 and above is the sweet spot. That's when you can pretty much get approved for just about um, the best lending options we have, the best lending products we have, which even go down to 1.49%. But since we're on that topic, the federal interest rates are literally rising by the day, right? So the month of September is when you really want to jump on getting solar because I can promise you by October 1st, we won't have a 1.49% product. We won't have a 1.99% product. It's probably going to be 3% and above because the lenders are losing money if they're giving it to you less than what the federal rates are. Right. And so, yeah, the time is running out. Our lenders are telling us our time is running out by October 1st. Those products are gone. Wow. Wow. Well, this is kind of, Jabari, I appreciate all your wisdom and your insight. I, um, I don't want to keep folks too long tonight, but I do want to give them an opportunity to kind of chime in. They can ask any questions specifically. One more question, Jabari, before I turn it over to them. You know, back in the day, man, a lot of people uh, were reluctant to go solar because of the bulkiness of how the panels looked on the roof. So aesthetically, although I might be able to recognize the cost savings, I don't want them big things on my house. How has, you know, things changed over time? Here we are transitioning in 2023. The world looks different, but can you speak on that before we open it up? 
Absolutely, yes. Things have definitely changed. Everything we do now is black on black, which means it's very sleek. It's very modern. If, if I'm able to share my screen, I would love to show y'all photos. But yeah, the old days of having those ridiculous white lines and, and blue lines and huge panels, those, those days are over. It's very thin. It's very sleek. Um, and so it, oh, okay, I do have ability to share now. So yeah, so you guys are going to see, this is in Texas, how sleek and modern the panels look now compared to before. Here's another one I can share. This is in Florida uh, with the Spanish tile roof. And, and really quick, Jabari, on that previous picture, I'm just mm -hmm. curious, why didn't they have panels on the front and the back of the house where it just needed to have panels on the back, whether this house or the other one, you just mind sharing that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So south facing roof has the best sun exposure. So that's where we want to focus. Um, and so when we do a design for you, we'll be able to, to locate exactly where is the, the most sun exposure on your roof. This particular house has it on both, as you can see. And you know, every roof is different. Some, some roofs have South facing, north facing, uh, several different facing, depending on the peak and the pitch of your roof. And so our engineering team will design it the best for your system and for your sun exposure to give you maximum sun production. That's the whole idea. Got it. Mm -hmm. Got it. All right, cool, man. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up for some questions. Um, uh, if anyone has any questions, this is the time. I want to make sure we uh, get you guys' questions answered Question. before I let you guys go. Yep. You both did great. Thank you. I'm sitting here taking notes. So I really appreciate you um, breaking everything down. Uh, Jabari, I did have a question as far as uh, location. Many of the people that are online may be listening to this in Maryland, but what are the next steps if, if they're interested in seeing if their house qualifies? Yeah, absolutely. You want to get with someone who's on tonight and you want to send them a copy of your one month electric bill. You can screenshot it. You can go online to, you know, you can take a picture from your mail, but something that shows your one month bill um, and preferably there's a graph on the bill or a table that tells you your 12 month consumption. How many kilowatts do you use per month? And then that 12 month total annual consumption, because we need to know how many kilowatts you use per month so we can design a system that's going to replace that energy, right? So if there's two identical houses side by side, one could have seven people living in it. The other one could have one person living in it their two solar systems would be completely opposite. One might be, you know, a $40,000 system. The other one might be a $20,000 system. So it all depends on how much energy do you consume. And that's how we design it. So all you need is a one month bill. Send that to someone who's connected on the line with you tonight. They will upload it to engineering who will create a proposal really as fast as an hour. And that way you can see what do I qualify for? How much money do I qualify for from the federal government? It, do I live in a state like Maryland, Connecticut, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Virginia, uh, the Carolinas, Ohio, Illinois? There's about 13 states that have a state component or a state rebate. And you may live in one of those states. And so you'll get even more money for going solar. And so our design team will show you all of that information. Got it. So that process from beginning to end, in your, in your opinion, from someone who goes through the process, gets their bill analyzed, they get their proposal per se? Yes. From that point, how long does it take to get the installation done? Installation is fast. Uh, it basically depends on your particular county or city permit time frames. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it could be anywhere from permit approval could be two weeks to four weeks or maybe even six weeks. Mm -hmm. Once that approval is done, our install happens within one day. So, so it could be by the end of the year that they get in. So at least they can take advantage of the credits for this year. Yes, absolutely. Okay. 
yeah, if you go ahead and get started now, you'll take advantage of the lower interest rates, which are going away, as well as, you know, winter's coming. And I can tell you PG County is like at six weeks or longer on permits, unless we can go make some friends and, and you know, bring them some, some bagels and some coffee and some donuts and drop them a $20 bill on accident. You know, we, we could, you know, move things up a little bit quicker because PG County used to be a 30 day county. Yeah. We're, I'm in Anne Arundel. Some of my friends online are in Anne Arundel. Anne Arundel. We, yeah. It's a little quicker. Anne Arundel is better. Yeah. Oh, some more is, is better. Good. Much better than Anne Arundel. Good. So, it's the last question I had now because I want to, I know Jamel has a question or two. When it comes down to HOA, what have you seen with HOAs that they say yes, they say no? to the approval of these panels. Yeah, Maryland is a state that HOA can't block you. Virginia as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So laws are changing daily. This climate bill was a sign that America is rebuilding. It's going to be all electrical. I'm sure everybody's seeing the vehicle charging stations everywhere now. Safeway, everywhere. Every hotel, 7-Eleven, everywhere has got vehicle charging stations. So the next 10 years, everything is going to be electrified. This is the movement. This is the gold rush. Um, they're either going to get solar from you or they're going to get solar from somebody else. That's okay. the bottom line. And those of us that are in real estate, uh, there's a lot of Maryland, or I shouldn't just only focus on Maryland, but there's a lot of homeowners in the last 10 years that got bad deals for solar. They've got leased systems mm -hmm. and they're stuck in a lien, you, you know? Yeah, and that's a lot of the things because I, as a realtor, I didn't understand it that much, so I really didn't push it too much. But now it's like it's it's a whole different scenario. right. So it's you you know so you you got to protect your homeowners because they trust you, you know, mm -hmm. and they want to get out of the home eventually and buy another home or rent it out or etc. So you know, as real estate agents, real estate professionals, y'all should really get educated on solar so that you can protect your clients from getting a bad deal right. from Sunrun or Tesla, you know, and, and they're stuck. And imagine being in a stuck in a lease for 25 years and you can't get out of it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So they get, hey, Jabari. I don't want to hold, I'm sorry. Did anyone else have any questions as far as the process or credits? Cause I don't think we broke down the credits that much as far as all the different credits that a homeowner would get. Yeah. And put that Shrek uh, slide back up, Jabari, if you don't mind, okay, the one yeah. with the 13 states. Yeah. And not that these are the only states where, where solar power or solar panels uh, can be uh, put on homes, but these are the 13 specific states that um, have a program called the Shrek program where there's additional incentives or rebates that come back to the homeowners uh, on a monthly basis. You mind just touching on that really, really quickly with the yeah, 13 so states? State like New Jersey, a homeowner who gets solar is going to get $223 a month for, I think, 15 years. What? It's crazy. Click on Maryland. Maryland. So what is, is that credit for? State renewable energy credits. So your system is generating credits because you're generating energy for the state. I and feel like I'm being ripped off. Yeah, the utility company, there's there's a mandate for the utility company to produce green energy. And so when they don't reach that 30% mark for utilities, for solar energy being produced from solar, they have to buy those credits from a homeowner who has solar. Got it. And so in Maryland, what was the estimate that a homeowner could get? $59 a month. $59 a month. Does, does that matter if it's a townhouse or a house detached? It's based on the, the amount of energy that your system creates. That's nice. And that's in addition to the saving. In addition to the saving. Yeah, so that comes from, who, who does that the come state. from? This, this comes from the state of Maryland. State. Got it. Jamel. Maryland, Maryland also has a one-time $1,000 um, yes. rebate. Yeah. For yeah. uh, for the uh, for those who get those installed, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a lot. And mm -hmm. I'm like, I gotta let my folks know. 
Question, question Jabari about the uh, the systems. You mentioned that um, you talked about the different inverters. Do you guys have plans for different inverters, or do you just do you just have one type of inverter? Uh, because that that um, you know the type of inverter will will kind of let you know how efficient your system is. Yeah, my favorite is in phase with the micro inverters. So right. this is top of the line right now, the IQ8. Uh -huh. Each one of your panels has an individual micro inverter underneath it. Okay, so mm -hmm. this is this is what it looks like. Break that down in English for us, not to. Okay, I'm gonna break that down. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's going a little deeper with the questions right now. So, all right. So, with a typical solar system, you've got a single inverter on the side of the home. All right. So think of that as a single point of failure. All right. So imagine if you've got Christmas tree lights and if you took out one bulb, the whole string would go dead. Right. You don't want that. Right. So that's the same thing with solar. So if you've got a single inverter and something happens to one of the panels, then all of the panels are down. With micro inverters, each panel has its own inverter, so you'll have individual control and monitoring from the app. So you'll be able to see the production on each panel one at a time. The whole system has multiple inverters, so if one is down, it doesn't affect the whole system. Everything keeps running. So he was asking, do we have different types of inverters? Absolutely, that's the benefit of power is we have variety of options. We give you the best of the best. Some people like Solar Edge, and Solar Edge has its benefits too to a single inverter type of a setup. So we offer options. Absolutely, that's what power is all about. And Some then you, and then you have specific packages. packages for those different types of settings and inverters and and installs. Different packages. Tell me what you mean. Um, so. You know that the one inverter you talked about, where they have a single inverter on each of the panel. I'm sure that's a little more costly than the uh, yes, micro inverters single. cost more, right? So right. we discuss that with the homeowners, and we give them the options on which ones they want. Some come in knowing they come, they did their research. Oh, Jabari, I, I know, I already know, I want the micro inverters. Boom! So I go in and I turn it on for them. Mm -hmm. I already know I want a 10 kilowatt in phase battery. Boom! I add it for them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And then what, what kind of maintenance? Is there any maintenance plans or is that is that just the warranty? Yeah, with, with, with maintenance, you don't really need it. But yes, it's all covered under warranty. There are no moving parts, you know, different from like wind energy. Then you got moving parts to lubricate and gears and motors. With solar, there's nothing moving. So you don't need any maintenance. Keep the panels washed off rain usually does that you know you could take a hose and spray them down if there was ever any debris or anything on them bird poop or whatever but that's really it and then we include the 30-year bumper to bumper warranty so that does include you know any type of checkups on the system um you know production questions things like that as part of the 30-year warranty okay outstanding and then um, these uh, powers, uh, I'm sure it's a U.S. company. All of the parts are made in the U.S.? Power is not a solar manufacturer, right? So we partner with manufacturers like Enphase and REC and QCell. Those are the manufacturers. They have establishments in the U.S., yes. Okay. So we sell Tier 1 USA certified product, the best of the best. We don't sell any Chinese knockoffs because none of that stuff we could warranty for 30 years. It has to have quality brand, brand name recognition in order for us to warranty it for 30 years. Mm -hmm. Copy that. And then lastly, um, homeowners insurance. How is that affected with solar panel installations? Yeah, it's not, it's not an issue uh, in the state of Maryland. In Virginia, we need a copy of the homeowner's insurance to move forward, but there's no requirements. Only in the state of Florida, if you go over 14 kilowatts, you'll need to add a little bit of um, umbrella insurance for the system, and that's it. Everywhere else, there's no homeowner's insurance requirements. 
Is there a savings on the insurance because you have panels? In some cases, yeah, because it does protect your roof more, right? It's going to protect the shingles. Um, the structure is much stronger. So it's going to be able to withstand um, more um, storm. Yeah, more wear and tear than without having solar. So in some cases, yeah, you could ask the homeowner's insurance company for a discount. Got it. Okay. Got it. Well, good stuff, man. Well, I appreciate it. And Lori, I appreciate you for those that might be interested in possibly exploring the benefits of solar um, here forward. Obviously, make sure you reach out uh, to Lori. Uh, as Jabari may mention, all we need to uh, possibly do a, a no commitment analysis is uh, a most recent electric bill. Uh, Lori will get that electric bill to us. We'll get it uploaded into the system. And then that proposal will be generated for you guys within 24 hours. And then we'll schedule a Zoom uh, to go through the before and after of where you are and where you will be uh, with solar. And uh, I appreciate you guys' time uh, and attentiveness. It makes all the sense in the world. That's where the world is going. And you can see by the incentives uh, that the government and legislation is moving forward towards making sure our homeowners recognize uh, the value and the benefits of it. And so I appreciate you guys' time. Jabari, again, salute to you, man. You are amazing. Oh, Lori, likewise. Thank you. And, just uh, one thing, you you guys. I, did, just, I did put the link to get more information. And for those that wanted to at least get started with the consultation, um, check the chat box, copy that, please, before we log out so that you can uh, at least get some more information tonight and digest it. So it's a no-brainer for me. Absolutely. I'm happy to, Thanks, do, to do this, to send it to more uh, homeowners and ho more real estate agents. So for those that are on the line and would like to connect with me, please let me know, because this is going to be a movement that I'm going to be moving for, moving forward with, with a lot more homeowners and realtors. And it's not just in Maryland. So I know there's, there's what, 22 states that this is able to be yeah, done? 26 and Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. DC okay. is not on the map though, right? DC's coming. DC's, DC's coming. coming. So Maryland, Virginia, you know, there's there's a there's a map, but if you have people that are in Texas, Florida, California, uh, South Carolina, North there's Carolina. A lot of, there's yeah. a lot of states in there that can be Connecticut, started. New Jersey, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ohio, Illinois. Yeah. And the company also has an amazing uh ambassador program for a lot of our homeowners that sends ref send referrals. A family, friends, um, you know, the benefits of solar and they actually come on board and do that. They, the company actually gives them a thousand dollars as a token of gratitude and appreciation for referring family and friends in this movement. And they call those individuals ambassadors. So if anyone knows anyone that might be interested after you take uh, initiative on your own, feel free and uh, reach out to Lori. She'll make sure she gets you locked into that program as well for our homeowner community. This was good, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So I appreciate it. Great job. All right, great. great job. You guys, the rest of your Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. All right. Thank you.